hello good morning friends and family thank god for today this is the day the lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it the lord is good all the time faithful father i want to thank you i want to honor you be glorified for forevermore Thank you, Lord, for giving us the gift of life. Thank you for helping us. Thank you for giving us your mercy. We are so grateful to you, God. Our eyes have seen another Easter celebration. It is the Lord's doing, and it's marvelous in our eyes. To him alone be all the glory forevermore. In the name of Jesus. It's with utmost joy and delight in my heart to share his word concerning our homes and our families today. And I know the Lord will bless our lives. The Lord will bless our homes. In the name of Jesus. And we start again on no hello. Sharing the words of God in our homes. In the name of Jesus. Happy Easter to everyone. Who will be here and who will see this video the lord will give you the easter blessings in your homes in the name of jesus we're going to be talking about easter today is easter how does it reflect in our homes how do we talk about it in our homes at the time jesus made this statement he told Martha, if you would believe i am the resurrection and the life. What a statement to be made to someone. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. Whatever it is that may have been dead in your homes, today being the Easter day, it's resurrecting in the name of Jesus. But I want to read a passage of the scriptures today and let us think about that scripture in our homes. It's in John chapter 14, I'll read verse 5 and 6 in the name of Jesus. John chapter 14, verse 5 and 6. Come with me, let's read the word of God together. John 14, 5 and 6. Let's hear the reading of God's word in the name of Jesus. 5. Let me start from 4. And whether I go, you know, and the way, you know. But 5 says, Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and we can, and how can we know the way? Let's hear the response of Jesus. The response of Jesus says, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The Lord bless the reading of his words into our hearts in the name of Jesus. So Holy Spirit of God, good morning. I welcome you to speak your words to your people. Dear Lord Jesus, bless our hearts in the name of Jesus. Our Father in heaven, speak to our homes, speak to our families. Let there be transformation and healing. Let there be blessings and breakthroughs in our families. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thomas was asking, we don't know where you are going. Jesus said, you know where I go. But Thomas said, we don't know. He wasn't talking about myself, him alone. He said, we don't know where you are going. We cannot know where you are going. And then Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is resurrected today. And he's gone to be with the Father. He's been with the Father, interceding on our behalf. Family, this is Osas talking about homes and family. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Daddy and mommy. Jesus, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Let us talk about the truth amongst them. And now it's been established that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. In other words, Jesus is truth. Jesus is the way. Jesus is life. Dear people of God, 
Jesus says, I am the way, I am the truth, that and more. Is anyone here, you have a family. Do you tell the truth in your home on this Easter day? Let's talk about that briefly. Daddy, do you tell the truth to your wife? Mom, do you tell the truth to your husband? You have a husband. I'm not saying for those who are singles. I'm not talking about the man who has been separated from his wife. Neither the woman who has been separated from her husband. You have a husband. You have a wife. And sometimes you get ready and you go to church. Sometimes you wake up in the morning and you say, children, let us pray. But do you tell the truth in little matters, in your home to your husband, in your home to your wife? Do you think it is necessary to tell the truth? If you were asked a question in your place of work, do you tell the truth? People of God, are we named according to the name of God? Do we call on God when we are distressed? Do we pray when we are in trouble? When we are calling on God, we call on God through Jesus. But this simple question today on this Easter resurrection morning, do you tell the truth to your spouse? I talk about family. When a situation arises for you to say what is the truth, do you say the truth? Even though sometimes you might be you might be despised, you might be shamed, you might be looked down upon as not doing the right thing, but you tell the truth. Because a family that tells the truth, Jesus dwells in that family. A family that tells the truth, Jesus resides in that family. In the day of trouble, God will deliver you. That and more. Do you tell the truth? Do you speak the truth? In your place of work, do you tell the truth? People of God, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. A person of truth will never be stranded. A person of truth will not be in cage. A person of truth will not be disappointed. A person of truth will not be suffer shame. A person of truth, the Lord will stand on him. The Lord will stand for him. Because the Bible says, the Lord is good and upright. God is a person of truth. God is a person of truth. God is a person of truth. People of God, telling the truth sets you free. Telling the truth at all times. He allows the right spirit to dwell in our homes, to abide in our families in the name of Jesus. A person of truth, we enjoy the favor of God. A person of truth, we experience God's breakthrough. A person of truth will enjoy the mercies of God. Not everyone can say the truth because truth is of God. But the world celebrates what is not the truth in the name of Jesus. I want to read verse 17 of, verse, of chapter 14 of John. See what 14 says. It says, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and he shall be in you. You that go to church, the spirit of truth should be with you. Because the world will not receive the truth. The world don't know how to tell the truth. The world don't know how to do the truth. Praise the Lord. That and more. 
to allow the right spirit dwell in our homes, in this world of chaos, in this world of so many, so many stories abounding, hearing all around the world. If the spirit of truth abides in our homes, just like Jesus is the truth, just like Jesus is the way, just like Jesus is the way, if the truth will abide in our hopes, if the truth will abide in our families, if the truth will stay in our mouths, our lives will be beautiful. Our homes will be beautiful. We will enjoy the blessings of God. We will see the grace of God. We will handle the mercy of God. Couples, in our homes, let's learn to tell the truth. In our families, let's learn to tell the truth. If you are a person who wakes up in the morning, who, who goes to church, but you don't tell the truth in your home, to your husband, to your wife, and you want to see the grace of God. Dear, it might be difficult because God will not dwell with a man who never tells the truth. I want us to learn a lesson from this man, Joseph. He was a man always telling the truth, not minding what was going to become of him. Imagine the situation in Potiphar's house. He didn't have anything to do with Potiphar's wife, but Potiphar's wife told a lie and said that was the truth. I want to imagine when Joseph was in prison and Potiphar's wife, nothing was being said about her anymore. Do you think that woman, knowing that she had sent somebody to prison by her lies, are you sure what kind of life she would be living still at that time? People of God, when you tell a lie to put somebody in bondage, when you tell a lie to scatter people's homes and family, when you tell a lie to scatter your home, to scatter your family, to put your home in disarray, are you sure? God will be excited to stay with you? Are you sure God will be happy to see that kind of life you are living? Let us learn to tell the truth in our homes. The spirit of truth is Jesus. Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the life. When we tell the truth, we will never be stranded. We will never be confused. We will not say, I don't know what to do because you are a person of truth in the name of Jesus. People of God, God loves you. It is only when you accept Jesus, he comes to dwell and abide in you and helps you to tell the truth. Family, have you accepted Jesus into your heart? Has he become the Lord of your life? Do you have him as your master? If you have not done that today, why not quickly say these prayers with me? Dear Lord, on this Easter day, I accept you into my heart. Come and dwell in me. Be Lord of my life. Watch over me. Be my Lord and master. Be my savior and be my guide in the name of Jesus. Thank you for forgiving me my sins. Thank you for washing me with your precious blood. I walk with you and be a man and a woman of truth in my home in the name of Jesus. Dear family and people of God, if you have said that prayers, you have accepted Jesus into your heart and into your life, and he comes to dwell, and you become a person of truth in the name of Jesus. Thank you, friends and family, for coming. I love and appreciate you again in the name of Jesus. Once again, dear Lord, thank you for helping our homes. Thank you for empowering us. Thank you for helping us to walk with you day by day, to be a man and a woman of truth in our homes, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for every family that will see this video. Their homes will experience the peace of God. Their homes will experience the love and the mercy of God. We will not be stranded. We will not be confused. We will not say, I don't know what to do because you, Jesus, that is the truth 
working in our homes, causing good things to take place in our lives and in our homes in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us in this Easter. Lord, every dead thing in our homes will come alive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today, I did promise to give our recharge cards. I don't know who is here. If you need a recharge card, can you just say hi? 1,000 for each person. Comment on the comment section and say, Hi, I need a recharge card in the name of Jesus. Is anyone here who needs a recharge card? I've got 10,000 Naira recharge card. If no one is here who needs it, that's fine. Maybe for a next time. Who needs a recharge card? Comment on this, uh, write on the comment section and say, I need a, I need, hi, just say hi, and then you, I'll see you, and then I'll send it to you in the name of Jesus. Sweet Jesus, I want to thank you. Thank you for helping us. Thank you for sustaining us. Thank you for helping us in the name of Jesus. Uh, Sister Kenred, if you need a recharge card, say hi, and then I'll send it to you. Oh, I'm not sure you need it to. Okay. A faithful father, we thank you. We love you, Lord, for helping us. We appreciate you and we glorify your name. Thank you for being our source and our strength in the name of Jesus. Friends and family, I always love you when you come to hear the word of the Lord concerning our homes and our families. The Lord will richly bless us even in this Easter period and beyond in the name of of Jesus. The Lord bless you all. The Lord keep you and cause his face to shine upon you in the name of Jesus. So no one needs a recharge card today. I have had 10,000 10k recharge card. Oh, good to have you. God bless you. That's good, sister. Thank God for you. I'm happy. We are many here now. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. And I hope you have subscribed to my YouTube channel, Sister Harry. Good to come your way in the name of Jesus. God bless you. So you don't need a charge card. There's plenty of data here in the name of Jesus. Thank you everyone for coming. So next time I will give out the recharge card. I've talked about truth in our homes. Dad and mom, husband and wife. Let's learn to tell the truth to one another. And the goodness of God will remain in our homes and in our families in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you all and keep you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Next time will be for the recharge card. Since nobody in Nigeria that is here today, the Lord bless you all and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Thank you all. I love you all and bye-bye. Thank you, sister. Thank you.